Hey there guys, really quick tutorial today. Let's say that we're in the Lego Digital Designer and we find a really, really cool part that we want to use in one of our Blender animations. But then we switch over to MLCAD and we're looking through our minifig parts. Ooh, I do not have a solid state drive. Uh, we're looking through our minifig parts and I mean, it's just not there. We really want to use it, but it's not there. Well, what if there was a way that we could get parts from LDD, Lego Digital Designer, into LDraw and into Blender? Well, there is a way that we can do that, and we're going to uh, go through that. So we'll go to Free Build, and let's look through a part that, look for a part that isn't in LDraw. Okay, so we want to find a piece, we're, we're browsing through LDD and we want to, um, let's say we come across, we're building a superhero uh, animation and we need the flash. And we're like, whoa, look at this. This piece is the Flash's helmet. It'd be perfect in our animation because it is the Flash. Okay, so we switch over to our LDRAW and go to our hat pieces here and I have my superheroes here and I've added in Catwoman and Batman but there's no flash so how do we get the flash from Lego Digital Designer to LDRAW and then Blender well if you look down here there's this part number when it's selected uh, if we throw another piece in it'll change that so that's a different part number. So part number 15554 is the part number of this piece. Now we're going to use a website. We are going to use digital-bricks.de um, and if you check out here it's LDRAW, not in LDRAW, and he has a library of parts that are in LDD but not in LDRAW. So uh, you could you could browse through here and find the specific part that you're looking for or what you can do is you can take this URL up here just as it is and then change this part number here to the part number that you're looking for. So in our case it was 1555 Four for the Flash's headgear. Hit enter and a download starts and we just downloaded that part and it's here in my downloads. Okay so what we can do now do is go to our LDRAW installation path which should be in your C directory and then we can drag this and actually we're just going to copy this. We're going to drag this into our parts folder. Okay, so now it's accessible by LDRAW. Um, but if we load up our minifig generator, which I just kind of like using for um, for convenience sake, it's still not in the minifig generator. And we can change that too. So if we go to our apps folder, we go to MLCAD, we go to this mlcad.ini and if we open it up in a text editor, now it's probably not going to work in Notepad, that's why I use Notepad++, I'd recommend it. Um, and you see all these values, these are all the pieces that are going to show up in our, in our minifig generator. Okay, so here, these are hats and the piece that we're adding is a hat so we will stay in this section and then I have it all organized by categories you can choose how you do that um, what are we looking for here superheroes okay so I'm just gonna copy this line we don't really need to worry about what all this information means but this is the name of the piece so we're gonna change that to flash and then we're going to change this number here to 15554.dat. 
this is automatically looking at our parts folder. We're just going to save this. We're going to go back to our minifig generator. And we will go to our superheroes. And look at that. We have our flash piece in our minifig generator. Okay, so let's just insert that into our current file. And we'll do the usual export. Should go to the desktop. We'll open up Blender. We'll delete everything here. Do the usual import. Do the usual import and desktop should be right here. Yeah, yeah, there it is. And look at that. We pulled a piece out of LDD and we have thrown it into Blender. So I hope that's uh, useful to some of you guys. Um, you'll notice in my Isengard tutorial that I use this for some of the pieces. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys can have fun with it and uh, enjoy.